Welcome back to segment two of the Carbon Solutions course on sustainable building materials. So far we have covered the definition of sustainable materials, how building materials fit into certification programs such as LEED, what it means to reduce waste in production and sourcing of raw materials, and the definition of environmentally preferable products within the larger framework of sustainability. In this segment, we are going to examine the certifications and standards that can help you identify truly sustainable products. Let's get started again. Certifications and standards. There are many claims in the emerging green marketplace as to the greenness of building materials. While there is no shortage of green claims from manufacturers who wish to be viewed as environmentally responsible, there are tried and proven certifications and labels we can refer to that can support these claims. The most important of these third-party standards and certifications are ISO 1400 Environmental Labels, Forest Stewardship Council or FSC, Green Seal Certification for Aerosol Adhesives, Paints and Coatings, Green Guard Certifications, Green Label and Green Label Plus from the Carpet and Rug Institute, SCS or Scientific Certification Systems, MSDS or Materials Safety Data Sheet provided by manufacturers, California Proposition 65 Regulations, and California Air Resource Board or CARB Standards. E0 and E1 European formaldehyde emission standards. The International Organization for Standardization, commonly referred to as ISO, has a set of environmental management standards that fall under the 1400 heading. Products that meet these standards will, quote, minimize harmful effects on the environment caused by activities and which seek to achieve continual improvement of its environmental performance, end quote. Other standards within these 1400 series address specific environmental aspects, including labeling, performance evaluation, life cycle analysis, communication, and auditing. The ISO standards are used by manufacturers worldwide and set a baseline for environmental performance and should be looked at first when looking at green building materials. FSC certification is another label to look for when considering timber products within a project. The Forest Stewardship Council, established in 1993, is an international, multi-stakeholder, non-profit organization that promotes responsible forest management worldwide. With FSC, Forest gets certified and products are traced through the supply chain to ensure that any claims concerning origin are credible and verifiable. FSC applies a chain of custody approach which tracks the flow of certified wood through the supply chain and across borders through each successive stage including harvesting, processing, and manufacturing all the way to the final product. According to the Food and Agricultural Organization FAO, of the United Nations, half the world's forests have already been altered, degraded, destroyed, or converted into other land uses. In addition, timber around the world, but especially in developing nations of Asia, Eastern Europe, and some areas of South America, is still harvested illegally and exploited due to poor forestry management practices. In response to global deforestation and poor forest management practices, the FSC's mission to promote environmentally appropriate, socially beneficial, and economically viable management of the world's forests was born. Using certified wood is a simple way to ensure that timber products used in a project are being harvested in a sustainable manner. Green Seal a widely recognized certification for cleaning products, floor finishes, and strippers, paints, and coatings is Green Seal. Green Seal is a U.S. based nonprofit third party certification system that provides a rigorous science based testing program 
for a variety of products and services, and recently, hotel properties. Green Seal utilizes a life cycle approach to show that the approved product has less impact on the environment by evaluating a product from the raw materials through the manufacturing process and ending with recycling or disposal. Green Seal meets the criteria of ISO 14020 and 14024, the standards for eco labeling set by the International Organization for Standardization, ISO and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's criteria for third-party certifiers of environmentally preferable products. Green Seal has been active since 1989 and is one of the largest eco-labeling organizations in the United States and a member of the Global Eco-Labeling Network. Green Guard. Green Guard for environmentally preferable building materials and interior furnishings is a certification program overseen by the Green Guard Environmental Institute, or GEI. The GEI is a decade-old, not-for-profit organization whose mission is to protect human health and quality of life through programs that reduce chemical exposure and improve indoor air quality. For items to qualify for Green Guard certification, they are put in enclosed test chambers where products are measured for chemical and particle emissions while simulating actual product use. The emission levels are then converted to represent what a person will actually breathe. Most building materials and furnishings tested this way are required to meet allowable emission levels within 7 to 14 days of installation. The Institute tests adhesives, air filters, ceiling systems, countertops, floors, insulation, and wall finishes, and a certified product list is maintained on their website. Green Label and Green Label Plus from the Carpet and Rug Institute. The Carpet and Rug Institute, or CRI, has managed a certification program for environmentally preferable carpet, carpet cushions, and emissions from carpet adhesives since 1992. Based in the state of Georgia, the Carpet and Rug Institute is a nonprofit trade association representing the manufacturers of more than 95% of all carpet made in the United States. In this way, we do have to note that CRI is an industry based labeling system. On behalf of its members, CRI manages the Green Label and Green Label Plus testing programs to assure that carpet and adhesive products meet stringent criteria for low chemical emissions. CRI uses independent laboratories to test carpet and adhesive samples using environmental chamber procedures and technologies developed in cooperation with the US EPA, the Consumer Product Safety Commission, CPSC, and other government agencies. Architects, builders, and product specifiers who want assurances that carpet and adhesive products are low in chemical emissions can peruse the CRI database for items that carry the Green Label and Green Label Plus designation. SCS, or the Scientific Certification Systems. Another way to identify low emitting building products, including paints, doors, windows, wall components, and even furniture, one can look for those that have been certified by one of the fastest growing verification bodies, Scientific Certification Systems, or SCS. Around for more than 25 years, SCS has developed international standards and certification systems that certify green products for indoor air quality, life cycle assessments, material content, FSC chain of custody, ability to meet lead criteria, and particular sustainability and social criteria developed for specific industries. Active across a broad range of industries, SCS maintains a number of standards and certification labels all which are searchable by product type, brand name, and manufacturer, and accessible on their website. Other Certifications and Standards If you are uncertain as to the formaldehyde content of a product, you can also look to see that it meets E0 or E1 standards for parts per million or the most globally stringent standards from CARB or the California Air Resources Board. One should also request an MSDS or Material Safety Data Sheet, 
which is available through the manufacturer for each product you are concerned about. Although ultimately not that detailed in what it is required to reveal, an MSDS can alert a user of chemicals of concern that might be listed by both the United Nations and the EPA on their lists. If there are questions as to the hazard of a certain chemical, it could be useful to cross-reference the chemical with California's Proposition 65. Proposition 65, formally titled the Safe Drinking Water and Toxic Enforcement Act of 1986, is a California law that has been in effect for over two decades and is administered by the California EPA's Office of Environmental Health Hazard Assessment, or OEHHA. Proposition 65 regulates substances listed by California as causing cancer or birth defects or other reproductive harm. Still, with all these certifications and information databases, thousands of new chemicals are approved each year by the EPA with little testing and are frequently approved for general use without quality control measures needed to understand the possible environmental and health implications. The best the building community can do at this time is to cross-reference particular materials and products with various third-party verifiers and groups that are taking a closer look at new products and material elements. You can check out many of these organizations whose information and websites are listed in your supplemental material guide.